Hey, this is Brian Wall with WorshipTutorials.com. I have a tutorial today for the song Alive by Hillsong Young and Free of the album We Are Young and Free. This is a great song we've been doing uh, in our worship services lately a lot. We use it as an opener. It feels like a, uh, a good modern pop song. Hillsong Young and Free is a... Uh, the We Are Young and Free album is really... You should check it out. It's very good. It's their sort of their youth uh, band, I think. Uh, so a lot of the songs are really high energy. The songwriting is great, and the uh, the melodies are really singable, and the chord progressions are very simple. So this song, this really is going to be very an easy uh, tutorial because this song uses the same chord progression over and over, and it, it never changes. Even the strumming pattern doesn't change. So let's talk about the chords in this song. You're going to play a B minor. And uh, check out our alternate chord voicings in the key of B minor, or in the key of D lesson, because we're going to be using those chords today. So this B minor is uh, you mute your low E string, sort of a, a variation of B minor. You uh, hit the, the uh, A string on the second fret with your first finger, leave the, uh, the D open, G is second fret, B is third fret, E is open. There's your B minor. And then there's a D over F sharp, and uh, we I hook my thumb around to get that F sharp in the bass. Open, open, two, three, open. Uh, you can play like a D major with an F sharp in the bass, but I like to leave this high E open. There's a G. So to play the G in this song, I hit this third fret on the E string. I mute the A string with my with the same finger and then open open three three and there's an A and uh, I leave if you noticed I leave this third finger down on the B string third fret almost the whole time so the A is mute open two two three open so those are the only chords B minor D over F sharp G strumming pattern. The strumming on this song and the rhythm is by far the hardest thing. So uh, it sounds like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. It follows that synth part. If you know the song, it goes dun, 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 so you're kind of following that rhythm. So I'm going to count it out and I'm going to slow it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up, down, up, down, down, up. It's the same pattern you would just repeat it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Now the next difficult thing about this song is where to change the chords inside of that pattern. So first, the chord progression. So B minor, D over F sharp, G, G, B minor, A, B minor, D over F sharp, G. how you put it together. Down, down, change, down, change, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, change, down, change. I'm going to go really slow. You can see where I'm changing chords and how this all fits together. Okay, I'm going to 
show you how to use seeing the different parts of the song, and that's pretty much it. So let's play it now, put it all together. I'm going to start with the intro. It's B minor, D over F sharp, C. That's the whole song. I believe it goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, sort of a instrumental section, and then part of the pre-chorus, then pre-chorus, chorus, and then it ends with a drum break, uh, and then it ends with a whoa, whoa, at <laughs> the end. So, uh, very cool song, very fun to play. Once you get that chord progression and rhythm thing down, it is really easy to do. Uh, but that might take some time. If you are a beginner, this is going to feel a little bit difficult for you. So what I would do is go back, listen to that chord, listen to that strumming pattern, and just play it without playing a chord. So just put your fingers on the strings and go... Start slow, and then speed it up. And then, when you feel comfortable with it, put the chords in it. before long you'll see that you get it and then put the words to it and sing it that's sort of the final piece but uh, I encourage you to put this one into your worship sets it's really fun a lot of high energy very singable we noticed that our congregations have sort of latched onto it picked it up really easy it's a fun song to sing too uh, just the way the rhythm and the uh, the melodies all work together and the words that you're saying as well. It's a pretty cool song. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, uh, want to see how to play those chords, head over to worshiptutorials.com. We have resources for you there. If you want to see that key of D alternate chord lesson, shows you how to play these chord voicings. We've got that there for you as well. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.